We turn now to the south where the death toll has climbed to at least 17 in the aftermath of Hurricane Ida. Tonight, a nurse from Louisiana is giving us horrifying new details in the deaths of seven nursing home patients who were moved inside a warehouse as the storm approached. Here's CBS's Jesse Mitchell. They were hungry, they were thirsty, they was in pain. It was just very sad. A harrowing account from nurse Natalie Henderson, who rode out the hurricane inside a warehouse crammed with more than 800 nursing home residents relocated just before Ida hit. These images show patients in squalid conditions, packed closely together on mattresses. And the whole place is reeking of urine and feces. It just was horrifying. Some were forced to relieve themselves in small buckets. Who would do this to patients, you know what I mean? And if you speak up about it, they get mad. Who gets mad? The supervisors, they don't want you to, you know, say anything. Are there many other options for you in New Orleans? Not really. Since speaking out, Henderson says she lost her job. They just try to pay me out to be this bad person that I'm not, not a bad person. I just be trying to look out for, for them people who can't speak up for themselves. The owner of the nursing home seemed to downplay the tragedy last week. We only had five deaths within the six days. With normally, with 850 people, you'll have a couple of days. So we did really good on taking care of people. Why would you say that there shouldn't be no deaths at all? At all. It's just heartbreaking. The storm's emotional toll extends throughout Louisiana, and some residents have given up. They're leaving the state. Any place the Lord blesses us to go out of this heat where we're able to get some food, get a hot bath, and just some comfort. The state health department is investigating that nursing home owner and has shut down his facilities. We reached out for comment but have not received a response. On top of everything else, Jamie, we've learned some married nursing home residents were separated during the evacuation of this warehouse, causing even further anguish. Mm, just painful to hear. Jesse Mitchell in Independence, Louisiana, thank you. Eight days after Ida, half a million in Louisiana are still without power. Some communities surrounded by standing water, homes gone. There's not a person on this body that's not suffering. Katie Arias' is home overtaken by floodwaters. Furniture tossed to the mud. You're drowning and you're reaching up and saying, help me, and no one's coming. Officials say the total number of destroyed power poles higher than Hurricanes Katrina, Ike, Delta, and Zeta combined. The National Guard now operating a floating bridge to one town completely cut off by floodwaters. These waters and mud with nowhere to go. The mud just keeps coming and coming and coming, you know. Concerns also rising about the most vulnerable. No light, no water, no hot water, no hot meals or nothing. Over the weekend, 600 residents evacuated from eight senior centers after the health department deemed them unfit for ongoing occupancy. Nobody showed up. Nobody, not one person showed up to come check on us. The city says five are dead. What we found was unacceptable. Really Meanwhile, seven now dead and the state attorney general demanding answers after more than 800 nursing home residents were evacuated to this warehouse and left on cots in floodwaters. People shouldn't be treated like that. You should be held accountable. But also small miracles. Chained up and trapped under debris, animal rescuers found this pup, Bubbles, who survived for four days, like many here, looking for a new home. Vaughn Hilliard, NBC News, Lafitte, Louisiana. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.